Well, let's consider this property of proportions got stated here. If A is to B as C is to D, then B is to A as D is to C. That is, take the reciprocals of both sides. So the example in black here, 2 is to 10 is 12 is to 60. Well, first let's demonstrate, make sure that's true. I know you believe this, 2 divided by 10. Yeah, 0.2, 12 divided by 60. So that's the way we can test them, 0.2. That shows those two fractions or ratios are equal, which means indeed we have a proportion. So let's switch these two around. Swap the 10 and the 2. It's going to look like that. If I swap one, I've got to swap the other, the 60 and the 12. Now you may be good at your arithmetic already, and you're going to say, wait a minute. That one on the left, that's 10 divided by 2. I already know that's 5. And I already know that 60 divided by 12 is also 5. Two equal ratios, or fractions, means it's a proportion. Of course, you knew this all from the start because cross-multiplying 2 times 60, 10 times 12, 10 times 12, 2 times 60. So it works either way. Now here's a, another property of proportions. We can exchange means. So let's have a look at this. Uh, we have it in general written here in blue, but here's an example. 2 is to 5, as 40 is to 100. According to this rule, I could take this 5, move it over there, swap it with that 40, and let's see. 2 is to 40, as 5 is to 100. Now, we know this is true several ways. First off, we know that if we do a cross product, 2 times 100 equals 5 times 40, and we still have 2 times 100 equals 5 times 40 on the right because multiplication is commutative. However, I want to show you one other way to consider it. Going back to this first one, or this proportion on the left, let's take out our calculator. And you probably already know that 2 fifths, 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. And 40 divided by 100 is also 0.4. So that takes care of this purple ratio. You see the two, well, I mean this purple proportion, sorry, because the two ratios are equal. Now let's look at the two ratios here, the exchanged ratios, and demonstrate that they are equal, which again preserves a proportion. So I'm going to say 2 divided by 40. See, it's now 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. It is a different proportion than I had on the left. But let's compare it to 5 over 100. And you can see 0 0.05. So these two ratios, 2 over 40, is the same as 5 over 100. That means the proportion has been preserved. So looking again at that example, that's what you've got. You can switch the means. We're going to call this property of proportions the addition property. Starting out here, we're stated A is to B as C is to D. If that, then A plus B is to B as C plus D is to D. A lot of variables there. Let's look at a real example. I'm going to start with this proportion, one that you can easily recognize. 3 is to 4 as 75 is to 100. 3 fourths or 3 quarters is 75 one hundredths. You know that one intuitively just from making change. So let's do this. I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation. Simple enough. You know I can do that. The equation is still balanced. And then I'm going to employ my similar fractions. On the left, I'm going to turn 1 into 4 fourths. And on the right of the equals, I'll turn it into 100 one hundredths. You see where this is going. So now all we have to do is combine our terms here. We have like denominators on each side. So I have 3 plus, three plus 4 over 4 on the left, 75 plus 100 over 100 on the right. And then we simplify. And there you go. That's a demonstration. But if you don't believe it, and you may not, you may want to look at your calculator and let's just 
demonstrate this. Let's just take this 7 divided by 4. 7 fourths divided by 4. Oh yeah, 1.75. Because 175 divided by 100 is also 1 and 3 quarters. Pretty neat. Well, let's use our newly learned properties and finish these three proportions here, 4, 5, and 6. And number 4, if x is to 9 is y is to 20, then x is to y, hmm, looks to me like what we're doing is we're swapping these two means right there. And I would then say, then x is to y as 9 is to 20. Again, we interchange the means. That was easy. Number 5. If x is to 6 is y is to 15, then x plus 6 is to 6. Okay, that's what I just showed you. We added 1 to that side of the proport or that ratio, that left side of the proportion. Uh, same as six, uh, 6 over 6. So on the right side, we'll have to add 15 over 15. And it would look a little bit like that. Now your, your property states add the denominator of each ratio to its number. I prefer to think of it as adding 1 to both sides. But there you go. x plus 6 is to 6, as y plus 15 is to 15. And finally, on uh, number 13, I'm sorry, number 6, uh, if, if 14 is to 3 as x is to y, then 17 is to 3 as, we well, see this is actually the same as number 5. If you noticed, 17, well, 17 is 14 plus 3. So we added 1 to the left side. We're going to have to add 1 to the right side. And it's going to look like this. Again, the left side, 14 plus 3, that's your 17 is to 3, as x plus y is to y. So the left side, you're adding 3 over 3. The right side, you're adding y over y. Well, in 8, 9, 10, let's just decide if these statements are true. Start with 8. If 5 is to 7 is A is to B, then 7 is to 5 is A is to B. That's going to get a big false. And the problem there is you're taking the reciprocal of 1. All we're doing is taking the reciprocal of one of the two ratios, not both. So that's not going to work out. Don't like that. On number 2, if D is to 2 as G plus 10 is to 11, then g d sorry d is to g plus 10 as 2 is to 11. Wow, can't even say that. But clearly here, all we did was switch these two. We switched the means, and we know that that's okay. We can interchange the means, and that proportion holds. And finally, number 10, if 4 plus x is to 4, as 3 plus y is to y, then x is to 4, as 3 is to y. Well, the same thing, just a, actually a little reverse here, instead of adding 4 fourths to one side, y over y, or like I like to say, 1 to both sides of the equation, we're subtracting both. We're subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation, and that would be this property, adding denominator, of each ratio to its numerator. And I guess we're adding a negative. So, worked out pretty good. And I would say false, true, true.